you believe, his first home run of the year. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting. And he will hit a ground ball toward short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. The long pause. Now the kick. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a slider. He has tied the major league record for strikeouts in a game with 20 strikeouts. Randy Johnson, Kerry Wood, Roger Clemens, and now Max Scherzer are the only pitchers in the history of this game. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight, the first of this quick two-game series between the New York Yankees and the New York Mets. Who's going to win this showdown between these two? Find out next. Noah Syndergaard, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan, any thoughts? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. Last night was a good one for him as he turned in a four-for-five effort. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And now look out as Ed runs in and gets him, and a very interesting start to this one. Man, not sure if he was trying to send a message early in the game or what, but I sure hope this doesn't carry over to the rest of the game. Sometimes things like this early in the game really sets the tone for problems later, but I hope that's not the case. Into the box, Brett Gardner. And he puts it on the ground to second. Cabrera's there. There's one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off-balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. Swung on and missed. One and two now. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound. But it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. With that, here's a look at the Yankees' starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matt, Jacoby Ellsbury is really fueling that offense right now. He had a four-hit game his last game, and I love the fact that he's covering everything. Anything you throw up there, he's right on it. The left-handed power bat of Greg Bird digs in now. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Two out with the man at first. Fouled back. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Yanks leave one. It's the Yankees zero. Mets coming to bat. It's the Subway Series of New York. And it's on the show. John Neese is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. HR, what's the word on him? Well, look, it hasn't been pretty. I mean, look at the ERA. He's struggled most of the season long. He's got to put together some good performances to drive that number down. But I think if he can attack hitters, get the ball down, keep it in the ballpark, he's got a chance to give his team a chance to win this game. In is Curtis Granderson. Batter pitcher matchup numbers with John Neese. A 3-for-12 line. And the pitch. Oh, good action on the two seamer there and it's one and two ready on one and two swing and a miss got him reaching 
And he makes the throw to first. Granderson is retired, and there's one away. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. How do they get back into the win column here, Harold? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. In now, Gavin Cicchini. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, Harold, they've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Yeah, Matt. I mean, this is the club that's in the middle of the season now, and we've been watching them up and down. They're in third place. They got to get on a roll because you got to track two teams down now. Kind of put themselves in a situation where can't lose many games moving forward. Now with the plate, Michael Conforto. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Runner goes for second. The tag by Castro, and he's out at second base. Clearly, he was just a little too anxious to break for second that time. He jumped early and the pitcher did a nice job of just stepping off the mound and then dealing with the play from there. Sometimes you'll see a guy flinch and balk the runner to second on those types of plays. Nice gets the sign. Here it comes on three and two. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Mets go down quickly and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Here's Starlin Castro, and he enters play today, currently fifth in the American League in hitting. Hard on the ground towards short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. And hold on a minute now. It looks like we may right see that last call challenged Matt, here. The call on the field was safe, but it was definitely a bang-bang play and tough for us to tell at full speed. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about him being safe either, but here's another shot of it right here. Not easy to tell for sure from that shot. Going to be interesting to see what they want to do with this one. And that's a thumbs up from the bench so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make Ladies the final decision. The Mets have decided to challenge. OK we're going to get one play. more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call. You know I think there is the shot right there it makes it look like the ball beat him to first looks like a well used challenge. OK so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision and off comes the headset and he's out. So the original the call is overturned reviews. and instead of the having a base runner at first, first base. the bases will now Has be empty. Overturned. Matt Holliday standing in now. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Here's the one and one delivery. And here's a ball hit in the air. After it is Cespedes, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. I like how he worked him backwards for that strike out there. He wasn't showing the fastball early in the at bat, but then went back to back once he had the hitter down in the count. In now, Didi Gregorius. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second, no score.
Here's your one Cespedes. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Two and one now to Cespedes. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. Castro into shallow center. One down. All right, here's how the Yanks line up defensively. Brought to you by Majestic. And yes, they are moving all over the field. They love to ship heavily into the analytics, and they really move players around playing the percentages. You'll see that a lot in this game today. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He brings an average in the 260s into this one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Ellsbury is under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Wilmer Flores comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. The big curve ball just misses apparently. Ball two. Wow, that was a decent breaking ball right there, but that's just a pitch that's a little easier to lay off of when you're opposite handed, opposite bat. You can see the sweep of the ball coming right into you. That was a great take. Well, that's a high fastball in the low 90s. That is a dangerous, dangerous pitch right there. He got away with one. The guy took the pitch. Maybe. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Chase Headley will be the one to start us off when we return. We'll move to the third with no score. Now to the plate, Chase Headley. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. But right to Cabrera, and that's the first down. Counting ninth, the pitcher number 47. Now John at the plate, Jonathan Neitz, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Now another one two. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up two down to begin the third. Wow this guy's mowing right through this lineup right now. But that's what happens when you don't get a chance to see a pitcher very often. That's one of the things that are helpful when you're pitching in interleague games. It's always a good advantage for the pitcher because the hitters don't get to see that guy very often. Stepping in now, Jacoby Ellsbury. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Boy, I don't know if that was a great take or he was just flat out full because that curveball was really close. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Home half of the third coming up. No score. At the plate, Travis Darnot. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Nope. And a curveball that started low and broke lower. Ball one. Here's the one and two delivery. This is popped high in the air toward the right side of the infield. And there's the first out. Eight. Digging eight in, Rene Rivera. A couple Rivera. of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. Now with the plate, Noah Syndergaard. 
This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Here it comes on one and one. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And an easy play out there for Headley, and that ends the inning. We'll see the speedy Brett Gardner start things out when we come back. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. Here's Brett Gardner now. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Bouncer down the line. Flores fields it cleanly. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Well, this guy's got good stuff. He held him to no hits for a long time. To get a little dribble or start Catch your it. offense going, though, Gary that's a positive, believe Sanchez. it or not. Finally in the hit call. Digging in for his second at bat, Gary Sanchez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And they'll just make him throw one over here, three and one. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Hit in the air to left field. Conforto will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Greg Digging in to try it again. Greg Bird. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Swing and a ball hit to the left side and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Runners off for second. So this is pulled in by the shortstop. Now a throw behind the runner, and it's in time to get him. And that, folks, is the danger of the hit and run. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. To the bottom of inning number four we go. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Curtis Granderson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 2 1 now to Granderson. And that one right down Main Street. Swing and a miss at 1 in the dirt. Up with it, Sanchez. And the throw is in time. Granderson is retired, and there's one away. Now batting. Shortstop. Striding in now once batting. again, Gavin Cicchini. He drew a walk his first time up. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Here it comes. This is in the air to right. Holiday is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The Digging in now, Michael Conforto. Two Michael away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Misses, ball two. Here's a swing and a high pop up calling for it. Headley makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Ready for another chance. Starlin Castro. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now a swing and a miss as Castor was retired here for the first out. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Into the box now, Matt Holliday. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
outside two and one. Well he clearly read the scout report this guy's been sizzling hot and look at how careful he's been pitching him. And that's in there above the belt so it's even now two and two. Into the windup here comes the two two pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. That's back to back punch outs and he's really starting to rack them up now guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now so he's got good stuff. Into the box now Didi Gregorius. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Set to deal on two and two. Now he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. But no one's going to get it as it's into the camera well area. The 2 2 one more time. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. Halfway home, still no score. Here's your one Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One and one. Here it comes. And he just misses with a curveball. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's such an effective pitch if you can hit the corner with it, but no dice this time. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. Set. Here's the three and two. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. Looks like the pitching coach might want to have a chat here. Yeah, and I'm not sure I agree with it either. Most pitchers, like when they're in a group, they just want to get back on the bump and compete. Sometimes visits like these are just like a formality. Digging in, Wilmer Flores comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Fastball not close and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Well Matt this is a situation in last night's game they didn't do a very good job driving in runs. Now in this game you capitalize on it you grow from your mistakes and be able to come back and deliver in this one here. In there and it's even now two and two. Getting a few steps off a second there now the pitch. Now a fastball up around the shoulders but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. Well that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor but it wasn't outrageous. Hey listen calling balls and strikes is a really tough job and even the best are going to miss some from time to time especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that though. Standing in now Travis Darno, and it misses three and one now. 3-1 count first and second. A lot of things can be happening here. I wonder if the runners start, but more importantly, get a pitch you can drive. Set. Here's the 3-1. Ball hit high to the right side, but this will get into the seats foul. He's set. Here's the three and two. Drilled right back up the middle. What a flip for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Here's Chase Headley. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at-bat. 
A one and one count. Here's the pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Here's the one two pitch now to Headley. And another foul ball. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. And Headley's able to lay off there. He's got it back to two and two. Pitch on the way. Oh, he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. The pitcher number 47. Digging in to try it again. John Neese. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Pop high in the air. Calling for it. Flores. And that's the second out of the inning. Up next for the Yankees. Digging Center in once Gilbert. again. Jacoby, Jacoby Ellsbury. Ellsbury. He's been hit by a pitch and walked in the game thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that will end up a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Here's another 1 2. Another one sent foul. One thing you try to do as a hitter is figure out what pattern the pitcher is pitching. I can't cover the whole plate. He's done a masterful job of pounding them on the outside half for strikes, and they haven't figured it out yet. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. To two balls and two strikes now. I got to commend him for being a really tough out right now. Not everyone will battle like this with two outs and nobody on. On the ground, softly towards second. Taken there by Cabrera. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Still no score. Digging in for his second at bat, Rene Rivera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. One and two, here it comes. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Pitch on the way. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. In there for extra bases, and there goes the no-hitter. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Matt, I don't know about you, but man, I love offense. And, and sixth well, inning to get the first hit. Let's go, Ten boys. It's getting a little boring. About time. Riding in once again, Noah Syndergaard. And he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah, great RBI opportunity here. But at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. And they'll play the station-to-station -station game here, but this is a foul ball. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. The bunt attempt is popped up, and that's a foul ball. He's down on strikes for the first out. Center fielder, number three. Ready once again, Curtis Granderson. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Now a pickoff play at second, and he'll get back in standing. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. 
Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. The set and the 1 1 pitch. A curveball that catches the inside corner. Boy, Matt, he's making this good team look silly. He's about one pitch away. I mean, one good strike. I'm getting all the way through the sixth inning, shutting these guys down. Really nice job. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Met strand one. We are still scoreless. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Here's Brett Gardner now. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. That's right. Stepping in and ready for another Sanchez. shot, Gary Sanchez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And he'll offer it the 2 1 and send it in the air out to right. Cespedes is right there as he takes it for the second out. Up next for the Yankees. Ready for Bird's another basement. shot now. Greg, Greg Bird. Bird. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And he will strike him out. 10 now in the ballgame, and the inning Thank is over. Come. So it's the Yanks go the one two three and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Stepping in Michael Conforto he's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. Trying to send them packing for the second time. And this is going to be a foul ball. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. On to first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seven. Ready for another chance? Joanna Cespedes. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hit hard on the ground is short. On to first, and there were two down. The batter number 13. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he misses two and one. Gets the sign. Here comes the two one. Two one pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Here's a swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Gardner is there. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Down in order go the Mets. Still no score. Digging in, Starlin Castro. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Close pitch, but just a bit outside. He wanted it, but it's two and one. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it. But this will be speared at third, and that was self defense all the way. One gone. One gone here in the eighth as we check our line score to this point. 
And boy, you can see the story of the game right there in the hit column. Just one hit allowed through seven and a third. He has been awfully tough to solve. Matt Holliday standing in now. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. In now, Didi Gregorius. Line to the right side. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Whoa, he hung that change up. That ball was hit hard. Lucky to keep that one in the Not ballpark. Batting. Third baseman, Chase Headley. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Stepping in now, Chase Headley. That one's in there, three and one. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of driving in a run because the runner at first will be in motion. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. That's what happens when you put the ball the in play. 3-2 count, you start the runner, John puts the ball in play, Lee. now you're sitting first and third. Love it. Rob Refsnyder will come on to pinch Pinchers hit here in a big team. spot. Number 38, Rob Refsnyder. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw on to first, and the Yankee threat goes by the boards as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Home half of the eighth straight ahead, and we still have no score. Tommy Lane is on his way into the ballgame now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Tommy Lane. Ruben Tejada is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop here. Ruben Tejada. Now to the plate, Wilmer Flores. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. Set to deal on two and two. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Walks are never good, but they're especially bad news late in games like this. It seems like they always come back to bite you. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Ellsbury going back. And as Mets fans have heard before, that ball's out of here. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Home run number five on the year. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Take a look at it on replay. You can see this thing was gone from the second it left his bat. A thunderous shot that dang near gave the pitcher a little whiplash. Challenged him with a fastball and lost big time. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. 
Bases are empty here, nobody out. Into the box, Travis Darno takes a fastball on the inside corner. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And this had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down on it unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Well, when you go with the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Ready with the one and one. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this one's in the dirt. And a nice job to keep the runners at bay as the count moves to two and two. He's set. Here's the two two. And this will be fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And misses badly on a pitch down in the dirt. He's set. Here's the three and two. Right side hit hard. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two oh, aboard now. Catcher, Noah Syndergaard. Jose Reyes will get a chance to swing the bat here and he'll do it in a good spot as he has runners at first and second and nobody out in the inning. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. And they'll ask him to bunt off the bench as he puts this one down. And the throw will go to second as they get to force out. In is Curtis Granderson. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. Here's the 0 2. Ground ball up the middle, and it's going to get through into center field for a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 2 0 ball game. Well, that base hit right there gives them two run cushion. When you have a two run cushion late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Into the box now, Gavin Cicchini. And he puts it on the ground to second. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. Back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one. Jerry Spamilia takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Here's the center fielder, Jacoby Ellsbury. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. Here's the 3-0 pitch. 
Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Looked like he might have got squeezed a little well, bit right field, there, and you know it. he's talking to himself right. in his head about Gardner. it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. And here's three. a slider strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been That's a strike. It. Then he goes down Gary. looking, and you really can't feel Ten too fair. sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Standing in now, Gary Sanchez. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. A payoff pitch one more time. Hit sharply on the ground. Cicchini scoops it up. Bare-handed for one. On the first, and he rolls the double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the season. And he's proven to be as reliable as anyone in the game. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Metropolitans pick up win number 70 to top the division. Noah Syndergaard earns a league-high 18th win, picking up 11 strikeouts along the way. Jerry Familia closes the door for the save, his 35th of the campaign. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out the shownation.com. Ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Two runs on four hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Here's the 0-2. Swung on, there goes the deep left. It is high, it is far, it is gone. He's done it again. It's unbelievable. He's done it again. I have run out of superlatives. He is the Sanchino. Gary is <laughs> scary. He hits another home run, and the Yankees have an 8-4 lead. One ball and one strike.